We're right back in the house. We're doing back to back. Here you go. What do we got here? Can I focus that in? Jim and Joe's Golden L. I know this is out of Victoria too, but I gotta. I have to go down and read it for ya. Read it for ya. Be a nice. Be a nice fella. Be a nice fella for today. Huh. Because I can take my mask off and read. That's that's the only reason I really do this. Back when Jim and Joe started producing their small batch brews, they were always keen to ensure their fine brew would arrive safely. So they hand-delivered in their old glory. Although now they still don't hand-deliver, they still handcraft. They're also still known as the Lori Boys. The Lori. This is quality crafted beer. Lori's Boy, Lori Boys Brew. Jim and Joe's Golden L. This is EVC 13. I don't know what that means. IBU 26. 26, 13, 13, 26. No idea. It's 4.4%. Where is it actually brewed at? Hawthorne East Victoria. Hawthorne East Victoria. You know, I should actually be doing these reviews with those nice, my wife's nice um, glasses, right? Is this a, nope, it's a pop top. Can I get it right the first time? Yes. <sighs> Let's get an initial smell. What do I smell? I'm smelling a little fruit undertone. Kind of like a uh, apple. Looks something, I can't tell what it is. Maybe they're old barrels because I can kind of smell a hint of wood. I don't know. Maybe that's just the the barley and the hops they use. It says the finest ingredients, but I'm picking up a wood smell. Maybe the Mori boys are still brewing, hand brewing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a go. Hmm. That first taste was, um, a little sweet. Not too sweet, though. That's the, that's the key. I don't like a real sweet beer, but that was a uh, that was only the first first drink, so I can't I can't make my assumption just off of one sip.
I am. If I only went off for one sip, I would have to say, Lori boys, you have a legend on our hands here. We're talking up my list. Definitely better than. No, we gotta drink it first before we can say so. Something like that. Yeah, there's something definitely earthy, but duh, you know, barley and hops and everything, they are, it's earthly. I'm getting that, but I'm also getting the sweetness. I think it's apple, like crab apple. Pink lady. I don't know if somebody's going to tell me. If anybody knows what fruit they put in here, please tell me, because I'm getting a hint of apple. Tiny, tiny bit. And it's sweet. So I'm thinking pink lady, because pink ladies are sweet apples. Those are uh Australian thing, right? Pink ladies. Those are uh, a nice sweet apple. But your Granny Smiths, sorry. No, your Granny Smiths are, are horrible. Compared to American Granny Smiths, our Granny Smiths are juicy and sweet as. Mmm, I miss those. Your, your, your Granny, your Granny Smith apples are mo more tart. So I don't like your apple pies. I I ate one the other day. This nice woman, who knows what I'm going through, gave my wife, gave me an apple pie from a famous local place. It was good. I'm not going to complain. But it's an Aussie apple pie. We make them totally different. But they use that uh, local Granny Smith. I think I should open a pie shop in my garage. Anyone want a pumpkin pie? Real pumpkin pie? Sweet potato pie? Pecan pie? An American apple pie? Key lime pie? Man. Lemon meringue? I can make those. Dirt pie. Ooh, dirt pies are good. There's no dirt in it. <laughs> like mud cake. There's no mud in it. It's just called a it's like an Oreo dirt. I don't know. I think they sell it at the the grocery store, like a Oreo dirt pie mix or something. But a real good one. I don't know what to tell you boys. Yep, it's almost done. Dare I say it? It's not White Rabbit down. White Rabbit, you have gone down a notch, and the Lori boys have gone up a notch. I don't remember my original list, but I'm gonna have to go through my videos. By the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna try like every Australian beer. And VB still not them. I don't know. After chugging them last night, it kind of took took it out of me. Cause it's not a chugging beer. People who chug chug VB, cool for you, but it's never been a chugging beer for me. You know what a chugging beer would be for me? A Great Northern would be a great chugging beer, or an Iron Jack Crisp. Those would be great chugging beers. A VB is a nice fuck, flucking beer to just go with some 
sit down and have you some a sausage roll, meat pie, VB, sit back, chill, drink. After chugging it, it kind of hurt my feelings. If you saw, if you if you got lucky enough to see the aftermath, I was over there on the floor laying out, passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway real life. <sighs> Lori boys. Not bad. Hmm. I don't know what EBC or RBU mean. 1326. When was this established? Doesn't say. Whenever lorries were around. So it's been a while. At least since the 50s, right? It's not a bad brew. A lorry. Let me look at them tires. Kind of looks like a real thin tire. So maybe since the 40s? Late 30s? Early 40s? I don't know. Hell if I know. I'm not no car expert. One of my friend's name, Hot Rod, he could probably tell you. Look at that picture, Hot Rod, of this lorry. If it will focus. It's not going to focus. Damn. One day I will get a new camera. I just don't want to. If I had faster internet speed, I would get a 1080p camera. But I don't. I'm still on 80SL2 Australia. My whole, my whole suburb. As NBN except for my house. <laughs> they don't like me. Or I'm tapped. Wire tapped. Surprisingly not bad for a sweet beer. Jim and Joe's Golden Ale. They might use yellow apples. I like the golden apples. Ooh, maybe that's what it is. Golden apples. Those are nice and delicious. Because this is nice and sweet. And not too sweet. That's the thing. Well balanced. Good beer. Aftertaste. Beer. Um, yeah. What would I eat with that? I can go down to Red Rooster and get me a rooster roll and then uh, eat me one of them with those. <laughs> yes, I would. So, since I'm not a quitter, you know I lost in defeat and I'm still drinking the next day, I shall say, go out and try you some golden ale, Australians. Well, American over here trying all your beers. Least you can do is uh support Australian brands. I should be supporting. I should be buying cores, right? But I'm not. You know why? Because I'm a self-adopted Aussie. I buy Australian made if I can. But that's becoming harder and harder to do, unless you want a beer. You can buy all the Australian-made beer you want. Rabbit out.